In the blue corner, there it is. Democratic strategist and former consultant for the Department of Homeland Security, Mustafa Tamiz, is back with us. And in the red corner, there it is. Former Lieutenant Governor of New York, Betsy McCoy, is here. Three friends back together again on network television. I love it. Uh, we appreciate you both joining us this morning for another intellectual iteration. Uh, today's topic, are liberals actually making America racist and dividing us even more? The subject today, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, third biggest city in the country. She released a statement about her two-year anniversary since her inauguration as mayor, which is a bizarre thing to do anyway. But she said, quote, by now, you may have heard the news that on the occasion of the two-year anniversary of my inauguration of mayor of this great city, I will be exclusively providing one-on-one -on -one interviews with journalists of color. And to take it a step further, here is Mayor Lightfoot speaking about this during her inaugural anniversary. Take a listen. I believe that the City Hall Press Corps needs to reflect the diversity of our city. And I saw some of the commentary, which were, frankly was uh, insulting, to suggest that uh, journalists of color won't ask the tough questions. Really? To suggest that somehow I'm saying certain journalists are racist? Really? No, the facts are the facts. And the fact is that this press corps does not reflect the diversity of the city, and it makes a difference in the kinds of coverage. Mustafa Tamiz, we'll start with you for a change today. My question is, shouldn't Lori Lightfoot, especially in the city of Chicago, be declaring a war on crime and not a war on white reporters? <laughs> you know, I think I think that's a very specific issue that's happening in Chicago, and we're taking completely out of context. She's been going back and forth. Look, we just went through a last administration that was a, a war with the press every single day, every single day, and and now when Lori Lightfoot is having uh, a, a battle with the Chicago press, which is one of the t toughest media markets in America, and she's pushing back, we're turning into some kind of a, a race war. Let's let's be real. Uh, yeah, but Mustafa, it's, it's, a, covered, it's the third she biggest city. unfairly by a number of press outlets, and she is pushing back. Uh, and, and people have accused uh, her uh, and other press outlets that were giving some fair coverage, uh, that they, they were being soft on her, and she's pushing back on that. And Mustafa, it is right not, but that's not back. a fair characterization. Like it's right the third questions. largest city in the country. She deserves to have difficult questions. She's not representing, you know, a small town like Presque so Isle, Maine, so or President something like that. Trump and she and deserves President tough Trump questions. Back and President Trump kept on saying that he was some kind of a victim, and, and he didn't, and, you know, he, there was a witch hunt. And look, this Mustafa, is the I want to bring in. I want to bring in of, Betsy. Uh, Donald you know, Trump has politicians to push back. And Donald Trump has nothing questions. to do with this. Donald Trump has nothing to do with Lori Lightfoot in Chicago. A absolutely right. nothing to do. Betsy, my, my question for you: You, Betsy, you were the former lieutenant governor of New York, all right? Politician. Since when do politicians get to choose who cover them? Oh, you absolutely cannot. And actually, it's a violation of the United States Constitution, the Fourteenth Amendment, to deprive journalists of access. Uh, uh, deprive them of their ability to apply their trade simply by the, the color of their skin. Let's look at the big picture here. The Democratic Party is becoming the party of reverse racism. Lori Lightfoot is one example, but there are many bigger examples. The American Rescue Plan, just rammed through Congress by Democrats, offers debt relief to black farmers, but white farmers need not apply. By virtue of the color of their skin, they're ineligible. The same legislation offers relief to restaurateurs who have lost money during the pandemic. But black restaurateurs go to the front of the line. Whites are told to go to the black back of the line. That is also a violation of the U.S. Constitution and fairness. So we see, to raise the issue of Donald Trump, he put America first. Now the Democratic Party wants to put blacks first to the exclusion of other Americans, and that is wrong. Mustafa, I think, and this is, you know, say what you will, but I think you could call this reverse discrimination. She's it basically is. intimating that black and brown reporters won't ask her challenging, difficult questions, maybe about the crime and the gun violence on the south side of Chicago. That's a question I'd have for her. She, she's not intimating that. Others are intimating that, and this was her pushback. Let's, let's not take this out of context. She's it's basically saying that others have been saying illegal. that, and she was pushing back against it. That's, that's the nature of that conversation, and we are taking it out of context. This is, look, we've seen this from the beginning of time with politicians and journalists, where politicians push back and journalists ask tough questions. This is nothing new. We're trying to turn this into something. Mustafa, this is, this is completely new. Yes. This is absolutely completely new. Yes. Mussolini did the same thing. 
all right, before World War II. He picked his reporters. <laughs> we're, making, we're making Lori Lightfoot into Mussolini. No, but he did the exact same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to reel us back in here, too. Mustafa, question to you. The press corps, as it exists right now, by the way, I, I interviewed at, uh, at the ABC station in Chicago, and I'm a white guy with my hair parted over, you know, and guess who didn't get the job? A one Rob Finnerty, all right? So I didn't get the job there, but yes, the press corps there is, is, uh, is predominantly, it's a, a very white press corps on both television and in print, but these are all owned, for the most part, by liberal ownership. What does it say to you that the majority of the press, media and print in Chicago are all acting in solidarity right now, refusing interviews that, that have been granted by Lori Lightfoot? Look, I think I think there is a, a a fight between Lori Lightfoot and the Chicago press. That is no different than presidents and mayors in, in cities across America, where there there are tough fights between mayors and and and, and press corps. Uh, we're cannot trying to pull this uh, out of context of that. No, uh, she no. is pushing back, and and, no. and that's the back and forth between She's not the, the mayor back and, the uh, and 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 the press corps. All right, Betsy, so go we ahead. Have to, I, I think back extrapolating for it and turning it in terms of some, some kind of a race issue uh, is just wrong, and I don't She's think we should do that. She's the one named race. She made the qualification based solely on the color of the journalist's skin. And a because media that's what they were saying. Hold they on, Mustafa. Saying, hold on. Hold on, Mustafa. Media the questions are asked by a, a, a someone of color. Mustafa, hold on. We can't. We can't all be talking over each other. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Great debate. Great debate. Great debate. Mustafa, about. settle down. Time out. One at a time. Betsy, go ahead. Yes. A media outlet with courage would file a lawsuit challenging the legality of what Lori Lightfoot did. You cannot deprive any profession of the ability to practice their trade based on the color of a professional skin. And that's exactly all right, I'm gonna what do, she I'm gonna did. do one if thing, I, I, I rarely do this, by the way. I wanna play, I want our audience to judge for themselves based on what she said. By the way, the crime numbers, two weekends ago in the south side of Chicago, Mustafa, 46 people shot, this is according to Chicago Sun-Times, seven people were killed, including a kid. Okay, and why did, why did she's taking her eye, keep your eye on the ball, Lori Lightfoot, focus on your city, focus on the crime issues there, focus on what is one of the best cities in America and what's happening there. I want to play you her soundbite one more time. This is Lori Lightfoot talking about uh, her new policy of only letting black and brown people interview her. Take a listen. I believe that the City Hall Press Corps needs to reflect the diversity of our city. And I saw some of the commentary, which were, frankly was uh, insulting, to suggest that uh, journalists of color won't ask the tough questions. Really? To suggest that somehow I'm saying certain journalists are racist? Really? No, the facts are the facts. And the fact is that this press corps does not reflect the diversity of the city, and it makes a difference in the kinds of coverage. We'll let the uh, we'll let the audience judge their panel. Yeah. Mustafa, I'll give and, you the uh, go ahead. Final thought. Yeah, look, she was referring to what people were saying. She was referring to a specific uh, column that was written. It wasn't what she was saying. She was referring to something. Mustafa, and the I don't care if she doesn't that. like what somebody writes about her. That's the job of the media. Okay, she, look, she, that, that's uh, fine. With you, what she did she only saying, divides us I'm even more. That's it. She was yeah. referring to right, panel, that yeah. was written about the. the We've got to leave it there, guys. I, I wish we could continue this. We got to leave it there. I always enjoy this segment, though. Mustafa <laughs> Tamiz, Betsy McCoy, pleasure seeing you both. Great having you back on. Uh, always, always a spirited conversation. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.